Hi everyone, welcome to Parenting Parents. I'm Mixie Casanova and I'm back again with another video. And this time I'm coming at you to let you know my five go-to's fruits. So you're probably wondering what is a go-to fruit. Okay, so being a mother of three and having all my parents and myself, we all need to eat and, you know, survive. So there's times that, especially in the month of December, that I have to watch my budget. And if I'm in a situation like that where I need to watch my budget, I have my go-to fruits. My go-to fruits just make sure that I'm covering fruits that is good for their body and not just like junk fruit fruits, if there's such thing. Anyhow, um, so I have five go-to fruits and I have a backup. So technically it's ten go-to fruits, but anyways, if I'm doing a random grocery shop, I'll just pick up whatever. But if I'm doing a budget shop, then this is what I, this is the list that I follow. So let's get into it. Now, this is not really in any particular order, but um, it's just my five. It doesn't matter what order. Anyhow, mangoes. And I know you're probably thinking mangoes. Yes, mangoes. And the reason why I have to say mangoes is because I love mangoes. And the kids love mangoes and the parents love mangoes. So you can't really go wrong, even though mangoes doesn't have a lot of nutritional value. Um, it does. <laughs> it does taste good in my mouth. <laughs> I guess that's all that matters. Um, it covers the skin development. Mangoes help us with their skin. So if you have a period that their feet are looking in little ways or you find that their skin's a little flaky, maybe you should try giving them mangoes and see if it helps. The backup fruit for mangoes is peaches. So let's say mangoes is too expensive in the store when I go there and I'm like, uh, nope, can't afford that. Then I'll run over to the peach section <laughs> and see how much peaches are and choose between one or the other. Um, next on the list, I would say, is blueberries. Now, yes, blueberries are just as messy as pomegranate. If you've ever given a parent pomegranate or blueberries, you'll be scrubbing for days. I own. Oh, I feed my parents in their cage. They only get training outside of the cage, but they don't get real food outside of their cages. It's always inside the cage. So, yes, yeah, so when they're getting their fruits, I'm scrubbing, the, I'm scrubbing their cages. But that's okay. So, blueberries helps with a lot of things. I think it's one of the most... Um, nutritional ones on my list it covers their heart their beak their feathers their bones and their vision plus their brain development how can you go wrong you need to put blueberries in their diet if you have a parent that's not getting blueberries come on over let's let's give them some blueberries so like I said heart beak feathers bone and um, vision and brain you can't go wrong now, the backup for blueberries doesn't, it covers everything blueberries covers except it doesn't cover the brain, which is bananas. I'm like a minion. I'll eat bananas anytime I see them. So, that works for me. But yeah, it doesn't help with any brain development. Next on my list is apples. Now, I say apples because two things. Apples covers bones, beaks, feathers, and their heart. Can't go wrong. However, it's also a thickener for my lorikeets. So when I say thickener, um, when I make their smoothie or their veggie, mix, their fruit and veggie mix or just a fruit mix or just a veggie mix, whatever, it doesn't matter. When I'm making their smoothie, I need a thickener in it. So the only thickener I'm aware of right now is apples. I don't know if there's any other thickeners in, out there. If there is, somebody please let me know because I would love to switch it up. Because right now, every time I give them a smoothie mix, it has to have an apple in there because that's the only thickener I know. And what I mean by thickener is if you make the smoothie mix, you get the smoothie mix and you put mix it with the nectar, it will separate. So, I don't know if you ever, you know what I'm talking about when things separate, when they're supposed to be mixed together. And then you have like this on top, like the smoothie mix here and then you have the veggie mix here. I'm oh, not the veggie mix, you have the um, nectar down here. So it'll separate and you don't want it to separate. So I use apples to keep it all together. And so far, so good. So apples is definitely a must-have in my household because I need it for the thickener for the Lori Keith smoothies. Um, the backup for apples, which I rarely use because, like I said, we always have apples in here because of the Lori Keats, is tomatoes. Yes, I know people say no, no, no to tomatoes. I don't know why, though. Tomatoes helps with everything that apples helps with, and it also helps with their eyes. So if there's a nutritional value to it, why is it a no-go? I don't know. So if you know why there's it's a no-go, please let me know. Inform me of it. I have given my parents tomatoes and haven't had any adverse re um, reactions. But it's not an everyday thing. 
However, anytime I figure I feel like to apples has been too much in their diet, I will switch it out with tomatoes. Next is cantaloupe. It's not a favorite of mine. I don't know why I have never taken to cantaloupe. Maybe I'm not eating it properly. If you guys have like some kind of secret recipe for eating a cantaloupe, please let me know. Because, um, yeah, right now I don't eat it. Cantaloupe helps them with their skin, their heart, and their vision. Sorry. Um, so that's great. I So, yeah, it's just not a food that I eat. So it kind of sucks me buying it because I won't eat it. And I tried it with the kids. They sometimes eat it and sometimes don't. I don't know. Maybe they take after me a little bit too much. Their backup is raspberries. Now, raspberries is just as messy as blueberries, which is just as messy as pomegranate but it's a little bit less but the problem with raspberries what well, well at least what always happens to me is they eat the raspberry i see their poop and i'm freaking out like oh my gosh why is their poop this color what happened because i watch poop as as nasty as that sounds yes i watch their poop <laughs> and then i have to remind myself like oh wait i gave them raspberries yeah yeah okay so raspberries is that um it covers the same thing except it doesn't cover any hearts um it doesn't help with the heart at all Last but not least is grapes. Yes, don't cut off my head. I know you're all going to say grapes has no nutritional value. Actually, it does. It has a little bit. It might be very small, but it's there. And grapes helps with the heart and the mind. So as long as there's nutritional value there, I'm happy because I love grapes. So if I had to take it on my diet, I would be so traumatized. And remember, they eat organic fruits. So it's not cheap <laughs> so we have to keep that in mind so yes grapes is definitely on my list and the backup for grapes is strawberries and you can't go wrong with strawberries i think everybody likes strawberries and that is my five go-to so if you guys have a five go-to list or if you guys have um another fruit or veggie that you think should replace one that's on my list then let me know i know that there's apricots and all the and guava and there's like a whole bunch of stuff that they can have that will help with the same type of stuff that I just mentioned. I'm just saying that these are my go-tos because they usually are available. And they're usually, not to say on the cheaper side, but somewhat on the cheaper side. So, anyhow, let me know your go-to. If you like my list, let me know. Please comment, like, share, subscribe. I hope you guys do subscribe because I'm going to be coming out with my five go-to veggies and my five go-to table foods. And so you want to keep watching and follow us so you can see all of those, right? So don't forget to subscribe. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay? Thanks so much for watching. And remember, parenting parents is not about being a pet owner. It's about being a parent to a toddler in parent form. Bye, everyone.